all right, yeah, out of house. I'm Bo. I'm Howie. I'm Subash. We're in a we're in a Jaguar XF. Uh, this is a facelift. Uh, sliding around in the car. <laughs> this is a facelift, uh, 2012 model, three liter non supercharged. Ah, oh, now I know what engine it is. <laughs> <laughs> so the interior is actually very nice. Uh, the wood is uh, the it's it feels like it's nicely fitted. The gaps between the pieces are very very narrow. Much more compared to other other cars of the same uh, same level we've been in. Uh, uh, still on interior. Let's talk about the interior. Yeah. Um, I feel that the uh, <clears throat> the British have a have a have an instinctive knowledge of how to match uh, aluminium, wood, and leather of two different colors together, yeah. and that is actually very difficult to do. And they do it quite well, in a, even in a car of this class. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I feel that the interior is... If you're looking for something really classy, uh, and, and Germans are not classy, uh, generally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Germans are not classy. Uh, something Bentley-ish in its level of class, uh, this yeah. will have it. Uh. But the problem I have, however, is that despite the class and despite the drama, uh, it looks very dated. Mm. Huh? Yeah. It, it looks a bit boring. It doesn't look 2012. Eh? It doesn't. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It, it looks 2008. Eh? Was that the first year it came out? Or? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one thing stand out about this car is that it feels, even though its price, <clears throat> it was meant to compete with 5 Series and E Class and the E6. Eh? It feels a bit 3 Series, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah. It feels a bit slow. Uh, a bit, a bit small. Small. It's more. Sp I, I don't want to say spot tuned because I haven't really chucked it around yet but it, it's not as soft as a, as a 5 series would be or an E-class e which, which is exactly the thing it's not as uh, executive uh, the feel yeah. as uh, as the big Germans yeah. I, I, like I said uh, it, it feels like a car that's designed before the XE was even thought of you're right uh, they, they, was, they probably was they had a chassis that is not competitive uh, yeah. to the E-class and the 5 series so they make the best out of it uh. But the best from Jaguar, I think, is not good enough. Huh? The noise is nice though. Wow. wow. It's got, that's good. Yeah. It's got the almost, the almost signature Jaguar girl. Not so confident. Huh? A lot of growl and no speed to go uh, along with it. A lot of a lot of drama. I would say uh, again, a lot of drama even on the sound compartment. It's like an angry guy who, who says he wants to beat you up, but he hasn't uh, hasn't made a move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got this feeling driving the F type or so, you know, where yeah. it's like it sounds like this is the best way to burn petrol. You know? uh, but then when you're it driving, doesn't go. <laughs> you've been in faster cars which are less less uh, dramatic. Uh. Yeah. So in that way, the British lose out to the Germans. Uh. But I don't know. It's still. In some, sometimes it gets your heart pounding. Is okay. it? Yeah. Adrenaline. Uh. This Adrenaline. Is the sound itself. Uh. The sound and the, the vibration. And the... But it doesn't make it behave like an asshole. Yeah, like, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, you it don't it have the confidence to be yeah. an asshole. You don't have the confidence to be an asshole. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's talk about the outside look. Uh. Yeah. Um, to be honest, it ticks all the boxes uh, of a yeah. 2012 car. You have sharp, pointy eyes. You have aggressive stance. You have a uh, LED, you have daytime running light, long daytime running light. All the boxes are there and it's ticked. Uh. The eyes look a bit sleep. It looks a bit feminine, but it's like quite fierce, you know. Yeah. So, but uh, I, I don't like the final product, uh, to be honest. The whole package? I yeah, know. the whole yeah. package, I don't it's like it. It's a bit boring, honestly. It's it's not only boring, there are some, some issues with the proportion at the back. I felt that it was not very proportionate. It looks almost like a hatchback. Right. Like as if uh, when you open the boot, the entire thing is going to go up. Uh. <laughs> like a lift back kind yeah. of. Uh... Wait, how is it managing the highway? Uh, it? It's doing a decent enough job. Uh, but decent. Honestly, a Mondeo is more confidence inspiring. Than really? Yeah. 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 It's not fast. Uh. The it's sound not. is too much. The speed is not there. Yeah, it's like it's making all these noises and we're going 80 kilometers per hour. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> we are actually going 85 kilometers an hour and it's making all this racing sound. And I have to downshift constantly to get excitement. Uh, it makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> See, from this distance, the infotainment unit looks actually quite classy. Uh, 
<laughs> when you go close, you we are back to the class again. Huh? So it's an Italian car. You cannot not talk about the passion. Yeah, yeah. But in a in a British car, the only thing you can say class, 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 class. class, class, class. class yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you expect. That's, like, point, like, yeah. that's what you expect coming into the car, coming into a Jaguar, right? Yeah. As a kid, I've I've seen like old Jaguars, like the XJ. And uh, later on, the XK, right in the 90s, yeah. they all had this uh, thing. Uh, it's big, engine is big, and it's British, you know, it's yeah. British. <laughs> and then, then there's this like uh, British, <laughs> English. Uh, yeah, and there's a uh, Dunhill advertisement growing up. You know, <laughs> style, quality, excellence. You know, Gaia, Mutu, Kungula. <laughs> I don't think you remember that. I remember. You remember? This guy driving on the highway. Traditionally, they were, they were, um, um, they were guided, uh, or there were, tr there were three overriding principles to Jaguar. Okay. Grace, right. Space, uh -huh. and uh, pace. So let's talk about the first. Uh, grace. Does grace, this uh, car have grace? Well, if you look at the interior, it's slightly graceful. Uh, it's more graceful than the German. Uh. Right. Uh, it's 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 more appointed. Uh. True. Yeah. But if you're talking about the ride quality, it's not graceful at all. A five series or an E class would be way better. It's not comfy. As it's the, not comfortable. As the BM, yeah. yeah. In, in E class, <laughs> there's comfort better. Yeah. In a uh, five series, there's, there's yeah. sportiness and balance. Yeah. And and inherent in grace is also this handling that you must be graceful. You, know, you don't have to be the best in handling, but the way you turn must be natural. You must feel it. But this one is not. Yeah. You constantly uh, adjust your steering. Yeah. You realize that? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's a bit too pointy. Yeah. Okay. Second one, space. Uh, I don't need to say this fail. Uh. Yeah, there's Completely. not much leg room here. Uh, well, if you're comparing to a Proton Vira, may, maybe okay lah. Mm -hmm. But if you're comparing to an E-Class and a 5 Series, there is nothing to say. Uh. You okay. lose. What's the third one? <laughs> <laughs> pace. Uh. The third one is Pace. Pace. Uh. Which I think they are not there lah. It is here lah. But you, it you doesn't feel, impress. Uh, it doesn't again, impress. Again, contextualizing, you're comparing with uh, the, the 5 and the... 3 Series. Three, 5 and the E. So the, the Germans spoil the market for the British uh. Yeah, man. Right? That's competition for you. That's competition for you. That's the way it is. Huh? You're the smartest kid in primary school. Huh? Then you get to secondary school, you're not the smartest anymore. Then sure. you get to university, you're the last in class. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I put into sport, uh, sport mode, uh, there is actually some acceleration. Uh, and it's it's okay. Uh. Yeah, I mean, A lot it's of sound, okay. Huh? It's okay. The sound is quite good, but it's a bit high pitched. Uh. It's not pleasant. I, I would, uh, I would prefer it being a bit lower tone, like more baritone kind of growl. But it's a bit. <laughs> Anything else to add? Uh, I like the interior design, yeah. but the fact that everything is melting inside. <laughs> it's a bit turn off. Yeah, it's a bit of a turn off. Yeah. It just shows that they didn't really do the testing enough. I guess. <laughs> Howie. But I suppose if you're a Jaguar fan, you can be quite happy with this car because it delivers the uh, the basic essence of a Jaguar, the, the wood, the leather, uh, the, the grace, you know. Um, but I'm a zoom zoom guy and uh, I do like the sound, although it's a bit too high pitched for me. And you can actually go zoom zoom in the sport mode. So I guess if you're a Jaguar fan, you have 500,000 and you like zoom zoom, this would be the perfect car for you. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, both. If you have not sat in similar competitors and actually test them out, you may be impressed by how it feels and some of the things. Okay. But after three years, melty plastic is just, just a turn off. I am not impressed with this product. Jaguar, I like you. You make some of the best looking car, but this is not a good one. Yeah, I like the sleepy eyes. Uh, the, the sleepy eyes that this car has. That's chink eye, man. Hey, that's racist. <laughs>
the XF name. I keep calling it XJ. I keep calling it other names. XE, XFJ, XF. The naming scheme just hasn't stuck in.